Oh my goodness. Look at that up up top. Oh look, he's red right there. Go right up, go right up on him. Right up on him. We found big red, guys. Got him. Oh. oh, he's still in the water. Give me the gig. 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 I got it. I got it. Just, just pursue him. All right, get. Oh, let's go. Get him with the gig, bro. Oh. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Got him. Yeah. Okay guys, what's going on? It's your boy, The Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. Um, as you guys might have heard from the recent updates, supposedly there's supposed to be a lot of thunderstorms that were supposed to be happening this week here in South Florida. But for some reason, guys, it seems like the weather forecast guy lied to us, guys. Because it was just a little bit of rain here and there, and then it would just get really sunny. But guys, it was still really hot. I'm talking about still in the 80s, still in the 90s. But real quick guys, as you can see, there is a lot of wildlife out. If you look closely, there is the elusive white duck, guys. We don't know why or how, but for some reason, this duck is all white. It seems to be the mascot over here in this area. Long story short, guys, we're gonna be going iguana hunting today on a boat just to see what kind of animals are out lurking, okay? Now, like I said, it's very tropical, it's very moist, it's very hot. So the humidity should be really high and there should be a lot of animals out. Who knows? So we are out here and as you guys might have known, the weather has been kind of funky, all right? It's supposed to be raining, it's been hot, the rain comes, it goes in like 30 minutes. So I figured the best way to kind of figure out what kind of wildlife is out in this type of weather is to go on the water. Today, we're with our friend Carlos from Reefs to Rivers Fishing Charter. Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Carlos here. So lately, um, just like you said, the, the weather's been real bad, but hopefully today we're gonna jump on the boat and do a different attack here. Uh, a lot of these iguanas, since they've been hiding and barrowing up into the trees, now they're gonna be out trying to get some of the sun before the rain comes. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on the boat, um, look for wildlife, maybe check out a peacock bass or a clown nightfish in the mix too. Yeah guys, so in this area that we're in, there's a different invasive species that I've never seen it personally, nor have I caught before. And that right there is the elusive clown nightfish, guys. This, this animal, this fish is from Africa or Asia. It's kind of weird. It swims backwards, it swims forwards. Some people say they're blind. So hopefully Captain Carlos can put us on one today and uh, maybe some iguanas, guys. We don't know though. We have no idea, all right? There's only one way to find out. Uh, I guess we're gonna just jump on this boat, Captain? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and get on to it now. Okay, let's do it. All right, so tell me a little bit about what we got going on over here, man. All right, so here we got the Marauder, uh, 22 caliber with a nice scope on it. Nice. Um, these are PCP guns. Uh, we fill them up to 3,000 PSI um, right there with our dive tanks and stuff and shoots about 1,200 per second, I think it is. Um, but these really knock them down. Um, you just got to make sure you hit them in the right target. Absolutely. It's all about guns. the shot placement. Absolutely. Now, you know what? I've shot in this gun before, but this one looks a little bit different. Is there a different stock on this one? There is. Is this a short stock? So, yeah. So, th when you buy them... Um, they come you have to buy the extra attachment here mm -hmm. um it's just a pistol it could be but i bought the extra attachment to be more of a rifle for people to be more Ooh, secure with their shots nice get right on there and hit the perfect perfect point on that on that iguana nice. to knock them down nice so and then also i also have the old old faithful this is oh, the, yeah. old, the old faithful man <laughs> don't she never she never complains i kiss her at night just to make sure she's nice and soft and cuddly. <laughs> Very nice. Know, but Very the old nice. brake barrel. She never lets you down. Cannot go wrong with the old-fashioned brake barrel. Yeah, buddy. Two Benjamin Marauders. Um, the one thing I will say is really cool about this, it's a bolt action. So you got ten round. You got eight to ten round clips. I have eight round clips in here. Yeah. So every time you hit that, hit that one, boom, bolt action back, right back in, boom, you're on it again. Right back in action. Right back in action. Boom, eight shots. You can get it in there as fast as you can. Nice. You can get that iguana down. Nice. And eat them for dinner. All <laughs> right. Hey, yeah. That's the plan. So guys, check it out, guys. I guess I'm gonna be driving this boat right here. You already know I got a new boat, but we're gonna go ahead, put this baby in gear, and we're gonna see you guys on the water. Let's go.
All right. It's a lot worse from last time. Guys, we are seeing some iguanas out here, guys. And the crazy thing is, is we were here like a couple months ago and we thought we did a good job, guys. But apparently not. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at them all. Look at them all, guys. Oh my goodness. They seen us, guys, and they went hiding back in the rocks. But we thought we did a good job and we thought we took care of business, but apparently not, guys. So we're going to see what we can catch. Stay tuned. Wow, look at all this damage right here, man. Right next to the highway. Got the butter. Guys, check that out right there. Comment down below if you know what species of duck that is. Some more native birds. That's a good sign. We are entering the territory. Oh, look at that. He's got some babies. All right, so keep your eyes peeled, guys. We're entering the territory right now. These iguanas can be anywhere. Oh. More damage. More damage right next to this bridge right here, guys. It's not looking good, y'all. Not looking good at all. Keep your eyes peeled. And as you guys know, that since it's kind of cloudy, some of these iguanas, they might be high up in the trees trying to get that sun, or they might be basking on rocks. So they can literally be anywhere, all right? Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah, 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 look at that female. All right, and she laid her eggs. She just laid her eggs. Right? Looking all skinny and stuff. Yeah, you see a little line right there? Uh-huh. That little extra body fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting close, guys. We just spotted our first female, but we're trying to take out some of the giant alphas, all right? And these things, they can be fired up, they can be fired down. You guys know it's post-breeding season, and it's the ending of egg-laying season, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled, y'all. All right, guys, if you guys look right there, there's a massive, massive iguana just peeking out of those bushes right there in those trees. We're going to sneak up on them and see if we can put this lasso over. Nice and easy. Don't look at them. Nah. Oh, look at him. He's looking at us, looking at him. Yeah. So we gotta, we gotta place He's on the move. He's on the move. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Right on him. Go right on him. Yeah, he's, he's back there. Where? Like, back there. I just seen his tail. He's back there? Yeah, like in the thick of all of that right there. Yeah, man, he's he's a big one. Yeah. Uh, As you guys can see, these iguanas are pretty smart, all right? He's seen us. He probably watches YouTube. He probably knows exactly who I am. And he uh, didn't sit around to ask questions what I was doing. Not anyways, today, iguana man. He's gone. He's gone. But the morning is still early, guys. And there's still a lot of iguanas to be caught. So stay tuned. Oh, there's a big one right there, dude. Big one right there. Big Ooh, one right there. hey, you got it. Yeah, there he is, people, right there. Now you gotta get your feet dirty. And that's exactly what Captain Carlos is all about. Check him out. Bring that gun, let's do it. Okay. You wanna take your shoes off, bro? So I see, see, this is why I took my shoes off. Cause I wanted to get wet. <laughs> We're in the we're in pursuit of the elusive red iguana. Alright guys, this is some real Florida man stuff right here, alright? Yeah, we're all out here, no shoes. You always gotta make sure you have your Florida work boots on though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Florida raise, Florida. There you Florida go right there. That's Universal the... too. <laughs> Universal stamp of Florida man right there, boys. Let's get him. Jungle. I see him. I see him. Right above us. I'm here. See him? Oh, my bad. 
but I don't see him. He's right above us. Oh, I see his tail. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna get a headshot on Yep, right? yep. Hey, where I'm at right here? Clean head. Oh, there you go. He's willing to move. He's right here. I got him. He's right there. He's on the corner. Oh, I see him. You see him? Yeah, he's, he's still up there. So what was that that just fell? Oh. Ah. Sometimes you got eyes on him. I'll pass you the gun, too. Yeah. Yeah. If you got him, take him. I got a really good one right here. Yeah, you take it. Yeah. Like, but come back, come back, come back, because his head is like literally right there. You see, see it? it? I see it. You see it? There's so much brush. Let me yeah, see but it. you gotta come back. Just a, brush. Just okay, here. Let me give it to you, bro. Yeah, I got a good head. Yeah, you're there. above him. Safety's on. Yep. Safety's on. Right there, he's on, the, he's on the ground. All right, I see him. He's moving. It's okay. It's okay. I think he's moving. He's gonna be right there on the bottom. He's going over here to the bottom. Safety's on. Okay. This is his shooting 22s. Yeah, but you got to make sure you hit him on the right shot. They're hollow points too. Oh yeah. Oh, be careful to be in Flo be a Floridian. Yeah, buddy. So as you guys can see, Captain Carlos has gone commando. He's bear crawling through the brush right there to try to recover the iguana. This is a big iguana, guys, and this iguana has been causing a lot of problems in this area. So it's crucial that we land this guy and put him in the bag. Easier said than done, though. As you guys know, these iguanas are really smart and really strong. So let's see if we can get him. All right, don't lose this. All right, we're coming back. Just uh, grab the tree real quick and try to pull yourself closer. I'm in, I'm in the open water. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. Hang on. <laughs> All right, what I want you to do, go up to the front of the boat. So guys, this is a complete unpredictable adventure. It's raining. We went in the jungle. We wounded the iguana. We're going to see if we can recover him. If not, we're going to keep going. But as you guys can see, check out the back of uh, Captain Carlos's shirt. All right, now spin the handle to the right. At first, if you don't succeed, Try what you're doing. Try what your guide told you to do in the first place. <laughs> That's, fa <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. Big facts. <laughs> and that's hey. exactly what he's doing to our friend Brandon right here. He's telling him <laughs> what to do. Look at that. He's coming. And look at that, guys. So you're good. You're safe. It's in a croc. I'm sorry. <laughs> Call him Big Red. Yeah. Guys, we are on the hunt for Big Red. Oh, I saw when I was climbing in there, I saw Big Red climbing all through this stuff. So up here is another opening. So I'm hoping he can't be there. He's just sitting there just chilling. Oh. That was you. Alligator? No, that was, that was you. That was you. <laughs> just want to have a talk with Big Red, guys. Just a couple of questions. Nothing too serious. Alright guys, he's back with more firepower. Old trusty here. Old trusty. Can never go wrong with old trusty. She's loaded too. So you gotta put you ready to fire. Big red is literally right there. People, we were shooting at his brother, and Big Red is literally right there. Oh, come on, he's eating him. This is the second time I've hunted him. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. There you go. You... Trap. He's gonna be out right he's, there. He's out there. Yeah, he's right. He's, he's literally out there. Okay, let's, uh, let's stop for a second. Uh. Let's go around. Okay. Because he's gonna stay right there. Like, finish him off there, or just grab him. I'll jump on. I'll jump on the tree and get that thing. <laughs> we gotta get him. Okay, we gotta get him. All right, <laughs> all right. Just watch your step. We flushed him out the nest, y'all. Now it's time to go recover him. All right. Go right up on him. Right up on him. We 
on big ring, guys. God. Oh. Oh, he's still in the water. Give me the gig. Give me the gig. Give me the gig. Give me the gig. I got it. I got it. Just, just pursue him. All right. Get. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Right here, noose. We can get a noose, or we can do whatever. Get, get him with the gig, bro. Get him with the gig, bro. Oh. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Nice. The problems that this iguana has been causing out here, guys, eating a lot, breeding a lot. We think he's the top breeder in this area, and his bloodline has been spread with all the new iguanas out here. But we're so happy to finally have him in the bag. We're going to go ahead and euthanize him, and we'll show you guys him up close in person. I'm pretty short, but he's pretty tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, talk about a pursuit out here, guys. You know, huge shout out to our captain, Carlos, for putting us on this big red right here. We've been hearing a lot of stories about it. The locals have been talking about it. But to actually see him go in his lair and catch him guys is absolutely remarkable right there look at that right there guys that right there is about a six and a half foot iguana y'all and his name is big red guys not to worry all the iguanas caught on today's show will be used for human consumption guys these things are actually pretty tasty believe it or not okay they call them the chicken of the trees i eat them all the time they taste like shrimp fish chicken alligator whatever you want to call it tomato tomato they are absolutely delicious and i have a feeling big red it's gonna be super tasty comment down below some recipes right now be interesting maybe the most popular comment we might do that recipe guys but yo Captain carlos oh uh, hang on hang on whoa, whoa. i think that's mike shrimp cow oh whoa yeah. he's got hey it's our that might be our buddy mike you guys remember mike yo man what's going on Oh, dude, we just got big red, but man, it was a bear. I almost, I think we're gonna need your gun. All right, where are you at? I'll drop it off. All right. I'll tell uh, you what, I'll pull over. I'll give you a shot when I'm like, yeah, dude, we got another one on top of the trees that was big red's brother, dude. Okay, I'll give you this stuff. Um, do you have, it might rain later, do you have a garbage bag or something? Yeah, I got my uh, big uh, 175 quart uh, cooler. That well, there's no, There's no ice or anything in it. So Mike Shrimpko right now, real cool adventures, awesome guy, does crazy stuff, the man's out of this world awesome. But he's gonna come with Big big Mama. That's really gonna take these things down. You see how hard we worked for Big Red? Hopefully we don't have to work that hard, but we're still always gonna work hard to catch these iguanas and save our environment and save our trees and state of Florida's uh, flowers. Absolutely, so. absolutely guys. It's all about just controlling these populations out here with these iguanas. You guys seen some of the damage that they did, and that's why it's very important that we take down giant breeders like Big Red right there, guys. Because it's just a cycle of them eating, reproducing, and then just making new spawns, guys. It's a cycle that needs to be under control. So huge shout out to Mike from Real Cool Adventures. He's bringing us Big Mama now. Big Mama, his, that's his gun, his favorite one. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Well, let's go meet up with Mike and let's see what he's got for us. Stay tuned.